Hello everybody, welcome to the video. What we're looking at here is a huge chunk of land that I grabbed via schematic, uh, via Lightmatica, to bring into a single player world so that I could work out what types of builds I wanted to do in this area. I had explored and found, okay, I, this is where I want to set up my base. So essentially, I was going to take this to look something like this. Now this wholly unfinished work, it was very, very early in the build process. I, I have a, what I refer to as a stucco build style. What do, <clears throat> sorry, what I would like to do is go ahead and show some images on screen um, of the build process and what I mean by stucco build style. I will throw some blocks at an area and if I don't like what it looks like, I take that blocks away and I'll add some different blocks, that kind of thing. So stucco build style, stuff that tends to stick is stuff that I find aesthetically pleasing. This was becoming more and more of a finished look. However, as you can see via the images along the way, there were some dramatic changes that had happened and so on and so forth. Now I will provide this schematic for download if you wish. I, I can also provide this void world via um, download if you would like the, so a world download with everything that's here. Um, and basically I just teleported from a, I pasted in the big chunk area of where I had decided to make my base. And all I did was just teleport from one section to the other. I pasted it in twice, as you can see here. I'll go ahead and I will fly around this. And as you saw in the images, the bridge wasn't there in a lot of them. And I still was not really pleased with this overall aesthetically I had different plans I wanted to put a kind of a bridge or something out over the water here and kind of knock out this wall is too flat for me the overall shape eh, you know I just but I wanted to continue working on this I was going to connect uh, the bridge in here but you know, let's take a look inside you'll see that I basically just had a structure I hadn't even gone in and done anything in the interior. All the while on the server, I was doing things. I had sheep farm here, lava cauldrons there. I even ended up putting an apiary inside of this mound here on the server. And I was going to incorporate that into the build eventually. But sadly, the hosting service had an issue. Uh, the server crashed and we lost our world so the seed that we were playing on which i actually do have and i had also over there to the east there was another basin which i don't have in this world here that was a very large river biome like this was a very large river biome and i built a dual mob farm over there that i'm going to feature in my next video um, i do have this schematic laid out as multiple sections so just the main build there and then the build of the bridge which i still was not entirely satisfied with in and of itself by itself so the schematic you can actually elect which ones you want to visually see when you load it in and uh, i i implore you go ahead and take the, a copy of this and make changes that you would do show me your artistic abilities i want to see what would have come of this i may revisit this in the future but my build style also, I like to incorporate the terrain of the land. I don't like to do very much in the way of terraforming. Now, as you saw before over there uh, in the previous section, let me just go ahead and teleport back over there. I did some terraforming over here and that was to incorporate the dual iron farm, just a basic iron farm. I think I found this via ENX04. Um, very intelligent when it comes to Minecraft mechanics and his videos are very explanatory and he does an excellent job of telling you why things are the way they are and what you can do to use the mechanics in your favor i highly recommend you go check him out and but i did flatten this out and everything and that was for the iron farms themselves and they don't appear to be running maybe because i teleported away let's change it to night And then they should start to kick off once the villagers try to sleep. Unless they despawned. 
<laughs> which they shouldn't have. I, I put them in via spawn eggs. This is a void world, so no mobs whatsoever. Okay, there's a golem there, and it they don't spawn at the same times, but yeah, there you see. Anyway, let's go back over to the other spot here. Uh, yeah, like I was saying, I am going to provide this as a schematic download. If requested, I will go ahead and provide this Void World for a download. I will not give you the download uh, with the actual seed. If you want the seed, uh, we lost the world. We don't have access to it, so I can provide the seed if requested. Well, that's all for this video. I do thank you for your time, and you have a great day.